Hello everyone, my name is Arkham and welcome back to another SH Monster Arts review. I know it's been a lot of SH Monster Arts reviews lately, but don't get me wrong. This line can be good, this line can be bad. I'm in love with the line so far, so that's why I'm spending all of my hard-earned money on this. <laughs> so, <clears throat> in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Shin Godzilla the fourth night combat version. This guy came out in 2023, so he is more of a, the, probably the most recent SH Monsters that I've looked at, which is great because this guy already looks dope. I know he has a lot of issues in terms of the body sculpt not being completely accurate to the movie or whatnot, and also this one being sort of a odd inclusion into the actual series. But, if you guys don't know, uh, Hideki Yano or something, I'm going to put his name on the screen. I know who he is. He is the director of the um, Evangelion series as well for the anime and I think the creator. I might be completely wrong. Don't, give me, don't kill me. I'm going to have to refresh my memory on that. So he directed Shin Godzilla. He was asked to direct Shin Godzilla. So there's a reason why it says the fourth night combat version. And that's because it's sort of a reference to the Evangelion series, the fourth angel, all that kind of stuff. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. Uh, before, before we actually get into the review, the box is pretty cool. Uh, it just has a bunch of Shin Godzilla and has a bunch of promo pics. Uh, this is pretty much the front of it, and the back of it is just Shin Boy himself. So, yeah, let's see what he comes with. Alright, so here we have Shin Godzilla. So, this guy, from my own knowledge, from what I've seen and what I've heard, is that he was sculpted with a translucent red plastic. And this is mainly the reason for it, is because he is pretty much translucent all over with a wash of, or like the paint job of just adding black and dark red on top of it. Overall, I think he looks pretty cool. I think he is, uh, as of the moment, my tallest SH Monster Arts. Something that I wanted to take a look at was the eyes. For a second. Ignore the microphone. So the eyes. So the first, the right, the left eye looks pretty good. I think he looks pretty good on the left. So... I was able to see the left eye because of the window. I haven't seen the right eye, so moment of truth, is it good? I will say that it sort of is. So one of the issues Shin Godzilla has always had throughout his production run is the paint job on, or like the just the decals on the eyes. It, the little point or the pupil it's not necessarily placed in the right spot like half the time. So there is that. Mine seems to be pretty decent. So again, this one is pretty much all centered. While this one is slightly downward. But it still feels centered. So I'll take that a as a win because he doesn't have much of an issue with it. Now, in terms of the aesthetic, I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, the tail is humongous. I think it's the second longest tail in the SH Monster Arts franchise behind Godzilla Ultima, which I have already made a review on it. If you want to see that review, you can look at uh, check down the description for it or wait for the end card of the video. So another thing is the hand fell off. Uh, so this guy might have the same issue as Godzilla Ultima in terms of the hands, but actually not that big of an issue. It probably was just loose. In the packaging so the tail looking at the tail it looks pretty cool the detail on the end of the tail is absolutely majestic but i do think that the translucent red plastic that they used makes it so the details on the actual sculpt are lost 
a little bit throughout the actual tail. Uh, everything else looks nice, although like you can kind of see that there are some big sections that are very translucent, then that might just be because of the production run and everything, whatever. This guy is no longer being sold, by the way, so I'll let you guys know how I got mine uh, at the end of the period, um, by at the end of the video, not period, when I'm in school. So, this guy, he looks, the dorsal plates look great. Honestly, they look really nice. I'm glad that none of them have to be, like, moved, so he actually has good poses and stuff so that's a good plus <laughs> so uh yeah everything looks nice the feet sort of looking at the feet down here they don't look as bad uh the right foot does have more paint added onto it than the left one but overall it doesn't look horrible so I think more people were fine with this version of Shin Godzilla than the previous ones, and I'm, I can definitely see why. And again, I've already mentioned uh, the sculpt is not entirely correct to the actual uh, CGI model used in the film, so that is always going to be a bummer. All right, so articulation, the tail, uh, pretty much the same as Sh uh, Godzilla Ultima. You're going to have a bunch of ball joints. Uh, I'll put on the screen how many ball joints it actually has. Uh, maybe, I'm not sure, I don't want to count them. <laughs> but it does move pretty well. It seems to be fairly sturdy. I know some people have had issues with their tails not being the sturdiest, especially with uh, Shin Godzilla. Some Shin Godzillas were definitely broken during the production or the assembly process. So, yeah... Uh, in terms of the face, the face is a little bit different from other SH monsters that we've looked at. So it is on a double ball joint um, mechanism. So there's a ball joint, double ball joint on the top of the head, and a double ball joint on the bottom of the jaw. So you can like move it around and kind of get like some derpy poses with this Godzilla. <laughs> you, know, you can just get a derpy jaw going on. Uh, he does almost close it all the way, so that's another issue that people hated about this in just Shin Godzilla and the SH Monster Arts line in general. He doesn't close his mouth all the way through, which definitely sucks because he never had this gap going throughout the actual movie, especially since I just saw it like a couple of days ago, so definitely a bummer. Uh, the neck is on ball joints as always not too bad he can look down that this much you can definitely make him look down further if you hunch his torso a little bit and he can look up this much so just the basic pose i don't want to stress anything too much because i don't want to break it this guy was very expensive um so yeah the i already kind of showed the torso he can crunch forward that much crunching backwards not so much because of the dorsal plate uh, dorsal fins and all that kind of stuff he does have a uh, waist swivel so it's in a full ball joint so you can move him around so you can pop him out too so just kind of taking a closer look again I think they just painted this because it is a translucent plastic by the way look at it you can definitely see it inside now so ball joint section I did not expect that to fall apart that easily. It doesn't want to be fixed. And it, by the way, this is part of like the production runs and all that kind of stuff. So this specific one, some of the joints for some reason are sort of like not made correctly. I don't know. They, they're just not cut out correctly. So this one I probably have to... Oh, that ball peg right here is very tight all right so i got them fixed uh that took a little bit longer than i wanted to than i wanted it to but my god that was a workout holy crap all right so let's not waste any more time on the waste so um 
the arms. He does have butterfly joints. They're very weirdly sculpted. Both of them are different sculpts and everything, so not much range of movement, for sure. I can barely move this one, by the way. So there's that. Uh, no bicep swivel. Uh, forearm swivel, yeah. You have movement at the at the arms, but again, this guy didn't really move. He really stayed on this position for pretty much the whole entire movie. So don't expect him to have the greatest articulation because this guy pretty much was just in this post the entire movie. So yeah, uh, we already looked at the waist. The uh, legs are loose for mine, so like you can sort of see how easy it is to just move it. But I have no issue. I'd rather have a loose joint than a really tight joint that I have to loosen up later. So you can do the splits this far. You can move the leg pretty much this far. There's the copyright information. And he can move the leg backwards this much. He does have a, okay, there's another ball joint falling apart. Hopefully I can put it back on, wonderful. Uh, double, okay, the foot seems to be an issue with this guy. Actually, no, that's a good, that's, that's something I do remember, that the foot seemed to be causing people issues just because putting too much stress on him. So, overall, I do think he looks fine. Uh, he's good overall, so, uh, yes, uh, in terms of some height comparisons, I'm going to put them around uh, the next, the S some SH monsters that I've already looked at in the past. Uh, so, yeah, like Godzilla Ultima, Mecha Godzilla, King, uh, King Kong, not King Kong, Kong, and whatsoever. So, yeah, this guy is good. Um, no accessories, by the way. Uh, so, there's nothing to talk about in that department. I th think for how much I spent on this guy, it definitely was not worth it. Uh, well, the price for it was definitely way too much than I actually should have paid for, but I'm not the most disappointed in him. Uh, it's just Shin Godzilla. This is probably the only Shin Godzilla that I'll ever have because... Actually, no, never mind. I'm getting the orthochromatic Shin Godzilla soon. The second <laughs> Shin Godzilla that I'll ever have. So, yeah, I... I thought this guy was a good opportunity to get him. I got him through Yahoo Auctions over in Japan. Uh, I paid around $186 for him, $192 uh, with the taxes and everything, the the fees. Uh, $52 shipping. Took around two weeks for him to get here. Not the worst, honestly. Pretty good. So, yeah. And final thoughts. I think he's good. I don't, I don't have many issues with him. I think some of the joints could have definitely been made a little bit better. Uh, the coloration on this dude looks awesome. I think he looks really cool. And especially under some really cool lighting, can be it can be brought into full effect. So, there is that. As the final score for this guy, I think I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. He's not going to be the most poseable Godzilla. Uh, besides the tail, the tail is mwah, chef's kiss, at least for, for now. Hopefully no joints get separated or break apart for mine. For my, uh, this was a completely brand new figure, by the way. There, this was not tampered beforehand, so got him through uh, Yahoo Auctions, brand new. There are some paint scuffs here and there that are not completely accurate. Some of the nails look off. Uh, they're not completely painted, but that's fine. Uh, so, 7 out of 10, I think it's a really good, it, it's a decent score. It's still a good score for him. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this figure. Uh, do you have him? Do you not have him? Do you have another Shin Godzilla that you probably don't like, probably do like? I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, let me know what you guys' thoughts are for this guy. I would love to know your own experiences owning a Shin Godzilla figure. Or if this video sort of made you want to hunt for one, maybe, if you have the funds. Uh, but yeah, that is all the time I have for you guys today. So I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.